The Mixed Mornings and More podcast with Steph and Sean. Now available daily. Good morning, world. Good morning. Happy Monday. It is December 3rd. No, it's uh, May. <laughs> it is May 9th. <laughs> it oh. is May 9th, 2022. It's 534 in the morning and there's snow on every car outside. Yeah, should we tell the weatherman it's not December? Like, what on earth? And I remember specifically chatting with you on Thursday about you getting your tires yeah. changed and just saying, no, the forecast like good it's going to be above 10 <laughs> degrees from here on out so yeah. i think it's safe for you to change them and then this and then this happened yeah so my bad i guess uh too early i guess i guess second week of may too early right does that sound correct i feel like maybe it's because we had so much snow in april that it feels like we must be done like yeah. there can't possibly be more snow in the sky to fall and then we always do get a snowfall in May. Yeah. But I just feel like it already fell in April. Enough yeah. of it. Like, can't we be done? I do remember. I do remember some May longs being absolutely miserable. And so that is always in the back of my mind. But I'm like, yeah, will that happen again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been one of those people who use the same kind of toothbrush for years now. Okay. Just found one that works. Mm -hmm. It's great. I like it. Now, I've never seen a commercial for like, dentists recommend this toothbrush. The one that you use? Yeah. But oh. they should because it's okay. so good. <laughs> it's called a Colgate 360 Total. Oh, has, I know that one. Yeah. It has like floss I'm bristles. just kidding. I don't. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is a love letter to my toothbrush. Okay. Now. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I love it too. I love your toothbrush. But a couple weeks ago, had a cold. Of course, time to change the toothbrush. Go to the store to buy a new toothbrush, and they're out of, like, most Wait, options. Wait, when you get a cold, you buy a new toothbrush every time? Yeah. Oh, okay, continue on. Sorry, that's just new to me. Really? You don't want to keep using the same germy toothbrush after you've recovered. So you don't wash it after? Like, you just don't... I mean, it, it gets washed every day with... Yeah. Toothpaste and water, but yeah. no, I'd, I'd absolutely change it. Wow. Ugh. That is a discovery in and of itself right now. It's a good idea. I bet you the dentist would recommend that. Right. So <laughs> you go, so now you're looking for your toothbrush, right? Yes, looking to replace my toothbrush, and the rack of toothbrushes is Slim Pickens. Everybody has already picked my favorite toothbrush <laughs> and anything that resembles that. Yeah. So I just buy a soft bristle, going to try it out kind of toothbrush. Oh. And I thought, you know what? Maybe my husband would like a new toothbrush as well. So I buy the two pack. Yeah. Not all toothbrushes are created equal. Don't like change? No, I tried to use it for like three weeks. <laughs> my gums were upset with me. It felt like I had brushed a new cavity into my tooth. <laughs> my teeth were super sensitive. I was like, what is happening? Well, then I start going to other stores to find my beloved toothbrush. And it seems that everyone has realized wow. how great this one is. Like, I don't know. We're in like a <laughs> shortage. You know, things just disappear. But toothbrushes, I never thought would be one of the things where you'd be like. Are you are you scouring online for it now? Because it's sold out of every store. Yeah. Black market. Where's the toothbrush? <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day yesterday. Hope everyone celebrated in any way that they could. Uh, one of the best days of the year, I think, Steph. For you or, or... Just in general. Mothers, they make the world go round, you know? Even when things are falling apart and going crazy, they make it seem like it's not. Okay. And, it, like, the world's just right. And as long as you got your mom by your side, feel like you can accomplish anything in the world, you know? Sure, sure. Kudos to moms. Yeah, yeah. So always love to give uh, the love and the appreciation to all the moms out there because they really are the superstars out there. Go, moms, go. Yeah, but another reason why Mother's Day is one of the best days mm -hmm. is just Instagram. <laughs> just scrolling through Instagram, you're like, oh, Jared, I didn't know your mom was so good looking. Sean! Woo! All right, so you scroll by and you're just like, Devin, your mom's a babe. You've been hiding it for so long? Like that one, scroll by. I was not expecting this. <laughs> oh my God. Not only do you do everything, you're an incredible human, but oh, you're absolutely beautiful. Wow, so, Sean. I mean, seeing all the moms, congratulations. <laughs> you're crushing it. Until next year. <laughs> I went on a bit of a grueling hike on Saturday that definitely didn't have a trail to it. And I found myself being stabbed by so many raspberry bushes 
it was like in the summer this is going to be a bear heaven oh. this will be like the place to come if you want to make a raspberry pie ah. for free <laughs> like but right now it is the place you should not be walking how, how, okay so many questions like where did you go first of all um i went for a paddle on the hanging stone river <laughs> okay and i had to abandon my boat <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> i know that's for another story but then i was walking up this mountain <laughs> <laughs> that was not a trail. <laughs> that was not a trail. And like, I kept hoping that I w- was going to find with all of the poop that I was stepping over, <laughs> um, a large animal trail that had like foraged it in front of me. Oh. So I didn't have to continue to be stabbed by these raspberry thorns. Right. <laughs> but instead, I now just have like a hand peppered with raspberry thorns <laughs> that I can't get out. I was using a pair of tweezers yesterday oh. and trying to pull out all of these little yeah. pickies. And um, then I was like, well, maybe I'll just try and put some polysport on and hopefully they'll work their way out. <laughs> but I just thought like, man, where's your dad when you need him? Like, that's oh little. Oh my goodness. I know, I would just hold my hand out, look the other way. <laughs> he would have like an X-Acto knife or his pocket knife or something and he would take the slivers out for me. And I'm just like, dad. Was your husband not up to the challenge or does he also cover? Covered with the same thorns. Also covered with the same things. <laughs> also just not my dad. I don't trust him. <laughs> oh, of course not. Playoff hockey still going strong, Steph. And the late night 8 o'clock starts are really hard to keep up with. I have to laugh when you're like, the late night 8 o'clock. It's like, that's what time most people get together. And you're like, it's so late. I can't. Get I'm together? Yeah. No, go to bed. Oh, get my ready gosh. for bed at 8. No, no. Did you happen to catch the game at all? I actually did, did catch it last night. Not only that, I got together with friends and watched it. I went to someone's house at 8 p.m. last night. Why would you go? I just don't understand how I get ready for bed and you're just like, oh yeah, I'll head over in five minutes. I'm just like brushing my teeth at the same time. Because sometimes you have to say I the adventure is far more fun than sleeping and oh you just my. go take part. But however, yeah. that game last night, I that was my first hockey you, game I watched of the year. Did you watch it all? I did. I oh. stayed till the very end. So you were out till 11 last I night I was, then. yeah. And wow. I, I don't think it was worth my sleep. That was such a boring game. Game. Yeah, they underperformed, but that's a bad first game to watch because they were putting up like six, eight, the Oilers, we're talking about Oilers Kings, uh, they were putting up like six, eight goals throughout the whole series and then you come and watch, miss bad luck over there, I guess. <laughs> I know. I Zero. I feel like I shouldn't watch anymore. I should just be like thrown in the towel and hopefully <laughs> that means that the Kings are thrown in the towel and the Oilers get yeah. back on their winning streak. Well, you want to know what I did because it was getting so boring and everything? <laughs> you went Se- to sleep? Second period, I turned off my TV and I just threw on the radio. Good old classic radio. Oh. On my app, I had a radio app, and then I just put a sleep timer on that for like 30 minutes, and then shut off all the lights, was just listening to the radio at a low volume, fell asleep. Don't you have it all figured out? A radio app with a sleep timer. Yeah, it was great. And then, well, I mean, other than losing for nothing. (laughs) I have this great product called Spider Ban that I spray around my window frames, my door frames every year, and then I don't see a spider in my house until the next spring. Interesting. What kind of product is this? I don't know. Spray but bottle? I, yeah, it's in a spray bottle. But I think this one, it had suffered its third winter outside, frozen and then unfrozen, and I think it's lost some of its potency. Uh-oh. You're getting spiders running through your home. Particularly a spider running through the crack in between the two cushions on my couch oh. that I was <laughs> sprawled across. I thought you were going to talk about another crack. It's like, whoa! <laughs> that is a weird spot to find a spider. That is a weird thing to talk about on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm laying on my couch. The spider is crawling through the crack of the cushions. <laughs> and I start screaming and I'm trying to get up. But, of course, when you're laying on the couch, you're not, like, in the position to get up quickly. Yeah. You know, you're you're relaxing. And so, my husband is laying on his couch and he starts, like, kind of screaming as well <laughs> because what is happening. And I'm like, spider, spider. And, of course, he's mad at me for, for causing such a commotion for such a small thing. Uh, but So, he can deal with them. Yeah, he does deal with them, and that is exactly what he had to do after I finally got myself out of the couch, was find the spider that now could be anywhere in this dark brown abyss of a couch with three cushions and that many cracks to go along with it. 
I survived, Sean. So now is the spider roaming loose in your house again, or did you end up finding it? He suffered a, a quick fate oh, of a crock. Yeah. How dare you? Oh, don't even how feel bad for this guy. He you? doesn't pay rent, and he obviously snuck in <laughs> somehow past the poison I already tried to deter him with. I don't feel bad, and Classic you Classic Steph, only caring about yourself and not others. You wow. What? You want to fight? Wow. <laughs> Spiders are people. People too. They are not people. <laughs> They're arachnids, eight legged things. <laughs> Nightmare. Drove by the Thickwood Dog Park uh, the other day, just running some errands. And I have to say, it is one tough feeling not having a dog but loving dogs and seeing everyone just having a fun time over in that area. Oh, were you really jealous? I was. I was so jealous. And the park was so populated. There were so many people. There was a nice day. It was last week. It wasn't like in the past three days where it's just <laughs> been snowing. It was not, last week when we had sunshine and everything. I was just like, oh. I need to find a dog-friendly place to live so I can get a dog. Could you just make friends with a dog owner for now <laughs> so that you could go to the dog park and, and pretend like you fit in? See, this is this is something that's crossed my mind of like in the afternoons, I could like sign up to be like a dog babysitter. And yeah. It's just like, hey, if you need a... You need a little waxies for your dog. I'm definitely available because that's what uh, this weekend I went down to the city and I was hanging out with my girlfriend. We picked up her parents' dog, which is like a golden labradoodle, a golden doodle. And then we picked up their uh, sister, her sister's dog, who is also like a golden doodle. And we just had these two dying dogs and we just basically stole them for about five hours. And wow. We were in the dog park and we like gave them baths and we were just having like a luxury day. And it's just like... Why don't I just have my own dog? There we go. There we go. So taking dog applications for afternoon walk friends. Yeah. So uh, two things here. Either do you have a place that allows dogs <laughs> because I will move in or B, does your dog need afternoon walks because I am available? Call or text. Let us know. <laughs> 780 <laughs> The Monday after. Ooh, what'd you get up to this weekend, Steph? Nothing much. Hey, probably just getting stuck in a river or something. Yeah, just something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your weekend, Sean. I I haven't recovered from this yet. Is that Too emotionally <laughs> okay? Okay, I went. I watched uh, a, a cult classic movie for the very first time. Oh, have you ever heard of Labyrinth? David Bowie? Yes, unfortunately I have. Unfortunately? I I watched it too late in life. I watched it um, in my 20s on a bus trip to Montreal, and it was like, why are these tiny, annoying oh. things making so much noise when I'm just trying to sleep? It was awful. Yeah, that situation sounds a little off on a bus ride somewhere. In the confines of a home. So I watched it on the weekend uh, with like my girlfriend and her sister, and... I enjoyed it. Okay, interesting well, a, movie choice for just like a bunch of adults in a room being like, let's watch The Labyrinth. It, it came up that I haven't watched it, and then all of a sudden the conversation immediately shifted to, we have to watch Labyrinth. <laughs> and then, so that's what happened. Oh, yeah, and all, out of nowhere, uh, my girlfriend's sister was like, oh, and I have The Labyrinth board game as well. What? So it was a weird night nonetheless. And what do you think of the movie? Are you like, you have to watch Labyrinth? Or are you like, eh, it's right. like It's like a 7 out of 10 for me. It wasn't amazing, but it did not suck. I'll watch it again because there was a lot going on. I feel like 7 out of 10 is a very high score for that movie. <laughs> Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.